I just want to start with that. Many believe that you are the best in the sport right now. What more do you need to be to accomplish to be the best ever? I think I need a couple more fights. I think a couple more fights is going to be uh, great for my legacy. You, thank you. Thank you for being on the show. When you talk about this next fight uh, versus uh, uh, Gaethje, uh, this guy seems to be a knockout artist, got an impressive resume, not as impressive as yours. Uh, are you concerned about anything specifically going up against this guy compared to the other fights you've had in your career? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, Justin is very interesting fighting fighter. He is um, very exciting. About his last fight, I, I was uh, very impressed. Uh, it was great performance. He know how to wrestle, how to kick, how to punch. He have good experience. But uh, same time, uh, I feel I'm gonna make him tired I'm, and uh, I'm gonna finish this guy. This is my opinion, you know. But I'm ready for all rounds, you know, all five round war. But uh, my goal on this fight, uh, make him tired and uh, choke him out. Habib, if you win and you're favored to do so, you've never lost 28-0 18 times inside the distance. Best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. Trying, as you said, to be the best ever. You th need a few more fights um, to, to cement your legacy, you feel. If you win and, in fact, Conor McGregor fights Poirier and beats him, are you interested in that rematch? You know, I don't like the word if, if, if. Like, uh, well, certain, you have to just certainly, have you're planning to on winning this fight, right? And you're favored to do so. Yes. So I assume if you need some more fights for your legacy, that would include defending your title. Mm -hmm. The logical contender would be the winner of McGregor and Poirier. So, so w let me ask it a different way. Would you have any objection to fighting McGregor again if he puts himself in position to challenge for your title? Uh, you know, about both of them, uh, I finished both of them and uh, finished in a dominant position, you know, dominant, with dominant performance. And I'm not interested on both of the, these guys because I need something new. I need something new blood, new energy, you know. Like Justin Gaethje gave me new, new motivation, you know. He's real deal. Right now he's interim champ. He's a very tough guy. And... Uh, if, we, if I think about uh, both Dustin and Connor, they don't give me good energy. They don't give me motivation. Fight for what? For what? For my legacy? I already put these guys on my, uh, on my desk, you know? I already beat them. Everything finished with these guys, you know? Uh, I, I need you some, someone. You mentioned earlier you need a few more fights for your legacy. And I mentioned on when John Jones was on this show, that you might be the best I've seen in MMA. Mm -hmm. And a lot of MMA people are like, come on, he hasn't fought enough guys yet and all this. And, you know, you're talking about Anderson Silva and John Jones are more proven. Who are the fights that you think you need if it's not the winner of McGregor Poirier if that fight comes off? You say you need more to cement your legacy. Who does motivate you? Who do you want to fight next, so, presuming you win? I really become exciting when I think about George St. Pierre. You know, and uh, I don't know if he want to fight with me or not. Can he make weight 155 or not? But this fight make me exciting, honestly. And, and I think me versus Jones is going to be a very, very big fight. Very big fight, you know. Like big fight for fans, big fight for pay-per-view, big fight for like uh, analytics, like for everybody. For fighters, you know. This is, uh, this is only fight in UFC, what makes me, after Gaethje, what makes me very exciting. Okay, fair enough. Saturday, one step closer to becoming the best ever. Habib, thank you so much for the time and best of luck this weekend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.